Oh, there. You know, sweets and scary things are really fun this time of year, but it can also be an anxiety issue, especially for kids who have allergies and other issues. So I want to talk about this and I want to talk about things you can do to alleviate that anxiety. And you see here on the screen, Tiffany Leon from FAIR, Food Allergy Research and Education. Tiffany, thanks so much. I see the teal pumpkin over your shoulder. <laughs> And I know over the years, I've become somewhat familiar with the teal pumpkin, but fill us in. Sure, sure. I mean, as you said, every year, millions of children are look for, looking forward to Halloween, um, planning their costumes and anticipating tons of candy. But for children with food allergies and their parents, um, they must approach the holiday uh, with caution. And so a couple of years ago, uh, Fair, and actually one of the support group leaders from FAIR started this, the Teal Pumpkin Project. Um, and what that means when you have a Teal Pumpkin outside on your step is that you are going to offer or you're offering non-edible treats. So stencils, crayons, I'm offering playing cards this year um, so that kids with food allergies or you know other dietary restrictions can still walk away with, with a treat. So um, tell me about how this works. Do you walk along and you see, oh, there's a teal pumpkin, we should go to that house? Um, or is there a virtual map or something that parents can know, here's where we should go? So last year, uh, you may have had to, you know, patrol your neighborhood, keep an eye out for those teal pumpkins, and you can still do that. Um, but this year, FAIR launched the Teal Pumpkin Project interactive map. So if you're participating in the project or in, in the program, then you can add your house um, so that neighbors in your area um, will know that you are participating. And if you're looking for, for a house that's participating, you can log on too. Oh, I love that. So that's nationwide? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. How many kids, because I know this is your specialty in your background and as a dietitian and through your organization, how mm -hmm. many kids, you know, I've, I've got young all the way up to teenagers, but how many kids are affected by this? Because you want this to be fun for them. This is supposed to be exciting, not a, I don't really get to participate. I just walk and then can't eat all this stuff I gathered. Yeah, yeah. So one in 13 children in the U.S. have food allergies. And there are nine foods that make up 90% of food allergies. So peanut, tree nut, fish, shellfish, wheat, eggs, soy, sesame, and milk, and dairy. Yeah, Cosmo, and I that's hope that's nine. I counted nine. <laughs> um, that, so that's a lot of things that are found in Halloween candy, whether you have milk chocolate or peanut butter cups. And so the Teal Pumpkin Project is just a fun way to keep everyone safe um, but also included. And a lot of times um, on Halloween, it, you know, since it's a very uh, food focused holiday, that's that really ends up being the center, but making it about the fun costume um, or even about just collecting the candy, collecting the treats. Um, and then as the parent, you can go home or caregiver, you can, you know, weed through the bag and make sure there's nothing that, that the kids can't, can't have. And, you know, maybe passing it on to a sibling or even another neighbor. Um, so that everyone can enjoy, enjoy something. Or the dentist that gives you money for it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. I used to get a quarter from my neighbor who was my dentist. <laughs> yeah. There are a lot of places that buy it by the pound to get kids to appreciate that instead of the sweet. Yeah. Well, I appreciate what you're doing with the Teal Pumpkin Project and at FAIR and encourage people to buy some things. I used to buy Play-Doh, those little Play-Doh cups. Mm -hmm. you know? mm -hmm buy things that are options for kids who who can't enjoy all of the candy totally totally yeah bubbles I think my mom is offering uh like glasses or beads Cute. um they have a ton of options that you can grab in the store and then if if um there's a kid they you know that doesn't want the candy that you're offering because you can still offer both and if and when you do just make sure that they're in separate bowls so that there's no uh, risk of cross contact um, but you know, there may be the kid that just wants the playing cards yeah. or wants yeah. the fun glasses. So I, I think it's, yeah, that. it's a win-win. <laughs> Where can people get more information? Tealpumpkinproject.org. All right. Thanks so much, Tiffany. Good to talk to you today. Happy yeah. Halloween. <laughs> Thanks for having me. Happy Halloween too.